Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for another Recovery Devon Daily. Uh, I'm James and I'm going to take you through a little bit of uh, poetry today and uh, a particular form of poetry called limericks. Um, now some of you will be familiar with limericks and uh, if you're familiar with poetry in general then you'll know that poetry can be a great way of expressing ourselves Poetry is as old as language itself and sometimes you can put uh, into a poem uh, and the words you use, uh, you can put your feelings far better than you can in, in straight prose or writing. Um, so I'm sure many of you will enjoy poems and limericks are my favourite largely because they're often rude uh, and quite amusing uh, but also because they they tell a story. They start you off um, and then uh, take you through a little story with a conclusion at the end. So I, I just love limericks. Um, as the name suggests, uh, they, they come from the city or county of Limerick in Ireland. And uh, originally it's thought that they were derived from uh, an earlier parlour game uh, by the Maig poets. I'm not sure, quite sure how you pronounce that. M-A-I-G-U-E, Maig poets uh, over in Ireland. And they have a particular format. So when you think of a limerick, think of the five lines. So a five line verse, uh, first two lines and the fifth line rhyme with the third and fourth lines rhyming. So you have this format of A, A, B, B, A uh, with the A's rhyming and the B's rhyming. So that's A, A, B, B, A. It's also uh, got a form which is known as an anapestic trimeter. Um, this is to do with the syllables and the way they're pronounced. So if you think of um, a limerick in terms of da 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 there once was a lighthouse keeper named Crichton who married a girl from Brighton. Lives were lost and ships were sunk because she wouldn't make love with the light on. So there you go. Uh, that's why I love limericks. They're often humorous and uh, they're often a little rude. And we welcome you to post in the comments your favourite limerick or even come up with your own. Um, they're so easy to, to come up with. In fact, there is even a website where you, you can generate your own limericks. Um, I think it's called Poem Generator. So you can type in some words. I actually tried one. I'll share the link, but I tried it and it, it was pretty useless, to be honest. It came up with words I didn't recognise. Um, so I started getting frustrated with it and putting in ruder and ruder words. Uh, but yeah, it, it wasn't great, but I will share the link in case you want to have a bit of fun. But I do suggest writing your own. Um, you may also wish to know that a great book uh, called A Book of Nonsense by Edward Lear uh, was a Victorian book. And it was one of the uh, earliest books that contained limericks. Um, and it's fantastic. I, I've just ordered a copy on Amazon because it was something I grew up with as a child. Uh, and I'll share the link to uh, Edward Lear's A Book of Nonsense. Um, and just to show you how easy it is, my wife and I were talking about this this morning, and um, we looked over at our little Maisie, who's been uh, who's been um, uh, with a friend for a day. Uh, but uh, we, we came up with one for Maisie, which is, there once was a young spaniel named Maisie, who was known for being rather crazy. Oh, I've forgotten it. Oh, um, she pulled on the lead, but once she'd been wooed and she'd weed, uh, she came back home and was lazy. Oh, I got that all wrong. Oh, uh, I thought it was going to be easy, but it wasn't. So come up with your own limericks, put them in the comments. Um, I'd like to say the ruder the better, but obviously keep them on the right side of rude. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to uh, know if you'd like us to, to do more on poetry, for example, or or more um, uh, Recovery Devon Dailies uh, on any subject of your choosing. So let us know what, what you're enjoying. Let us know uh, where you'd like us to go with this. Um, we're approaching 
gosh, I think nearly 50 recovery Devon dailies now. So uh, we're really enjoying doing them, but we'd like to get you involved. And if you'd like to do one yourself, just uh, send us the video and uh, we'll post it, post it up for you. So thank you very much. This has been James from home and uh, on the subject of limericks. Uh, so I hope you're all well, uh, keeping safe, and we'll be back with you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.